Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Veronica, known as Data Geek. If you are new here, welcome. And please consider subscribing to my channel for awesome tips on data analysis tools such as Power BI, Excel, Python, and even some SQL. Let me ask you, are you tired of messy Excel sheets? Well, I'm gonna show you how to use a Pandas library in Python so that you can make your data analysis faster, cleaner, and way more powerful. And this can be done with just a few lines of code. So on the screen here is your data set. This is sales data. I have this uploaded into my Jupyter Notebook. If you're not sure how to upload this into Jupyter Notebook, all you have to do is go to your home page of Jupyter Notebook, then click on your upload button on your top right, then find your file location, click on your file and click on open. And once you do that step, You'll scroll down and you will have your file here where it says sales underscore data. And now we can get started with our Python code. All right, so here I am in my Jupyter Notebook. So these are the five simple steps we're going to be going over. So one, we're going to import and load the data. Two, we're going to check and explore the data. Three, we're going to clean the data. Four, we're going to do a simple analysis. And number five, we're going to do the fun part, which is the visualization, of course, with pandas. So this will all be done with pandas library. So the first step, let's import our libraries. We're going to add a cell here. We're going to go import pandas as PD. So what is pandas? So pandas is like Excel, but smarter. It helps you clean, organize, and analyze data easily in Python. Next, we're going to load the data set. So df, this is what we're going to call it through the whole analysis. So df equals, then we pull in this data set. So pd.read underscore csv, open parentheses, double quotation. Now your data set name is going to be sales underscore data dot csv, double quotation, close parentheses. So whatever your data set name is, you will replace that here. Now that we're going to read our data set, we want to view the first few columns of our data set. So to do that, you do df.head, open and close parentheses. And this will show you the first five rows of your data set. And here we go. So we have a date column, region, product, category, unit sold, unit price, total sales, and profit margin. Here are the first five rows of the data. So if you want to see more rows, you simply click in this open and close parentheses and put in the number of rows you want to see. For example, we will put 15. And then I will run that. Now we're seeing the first 15 rows of our data set. And it's good to kind of like take a look at your data, make sure you don't have any null values, any misspellings. That way you would know to correct those. So going to step number two, and add a cell here. Now we're going to check and explore the data. And to do that, simple, easy code is df.info. Open and close parentheses. Now again, why did I put df? Because that's what we called our data set up here when we're reading this data file. So it's going to pull this and look at the info of that data set. So I will go ahead and run this. And here's the information of our data set. So now you can see that here we have the number of columns, which is zero for date, one column for region, two products. So these are our column names. Here it shows if it's a non-null count. So it shows non-null. And then also each row has a data type. So it gives you the data types. It also gives you memory usage. Here on top, it has range index, 200 entries. 0 to 199 and then data columns total of eight columns as you can see that's correct because it has 0 to 7 0 counting as the first column to 7. so basically this df.info method in pandas provides a consist summary of data frame including the index type data types column data types and non-null values and of course the memory usage and now we will add another cell here so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do a df 
dot describe. Open and close parentheses and run this. So this is another step to check and explore the data. So this gives us quick stats like average and totals. And as you can see, it's for the numeric values, the unit sold column, unit price column, total sales, profit margin. We have the mean, standard deviation, the min, the quartiles, 25%, 50%, 75%, and max for each of those columns. Now we will see the shape of our data set. So it's df.shape. And you don't have to use the open and close parentheses. And let's run this. And now we have our shape, which is 200 rows and eight columns. Also, another simple step. If you want to just see the column names, you just put df.columns. No open and close parentheses, just straight this way df.columns and run. Now you have your index, which is all of your data column names. This is how to check and explore the data with pandas. Now next, we're going to go ahead and clean the data set. So suppose your data set is dirty. We're going to go ahead and look at some code on how to clean your data set. So we're going to do df equals df.drop NAs. So say you have any NAs, this is the code you would use. So go ahead and run that. And it ran successfully. As you can see, there's a number here. No errors. So I'll add another one here. So next, say I want to fix columns by removing spaces. So I'll do df dot columns equals df dot columns dot str dot replace. And then you're going to do double quotation, space, double quotation, comma, double quotation, and then underscore, double quotation, and close parentheses. So if you can see what I did here, I'm replacing any spaces with an underscore. Okay, so I'll go ahead and run this code. And it ran successfully. So now we will go ahead and add another cell. Suppose you want to convert your total cells column to a numeric value. This is the kind of line of code that you can use. So df, open bracket, double quotation. Now your column name, which in this case it's total sales. Then close that double quotation and bracket. And we're gonna do equals pd dot two underscore numeric. Open parentheses, df, open bracket, and then our total sales again, column, double quotation, close that bracket, comma, errors, equals, double quotation, C-O-E-R-C-E, -E, double quotation, close parentheses. And we will run this. So now we have our total sales converted into a number. So this way, whenever we Go ahead and visualize this data in a visual. It won't give us an error. So I'm going to add another cell here, and we're going to step number four. We're going to do a simple analysis. So we're going to do total sales by region. So we're going to do a sales underscore by underscore region. And we want to equal this to our df, and then we're going to group by. So we're going to use the group by function. So df dot group by, open parentheses, double quotation, region, that's our column name, close parentheses, and we're going to do an open bracket, double quotation, and then we're going to do the total sales column, underscore sales, close that bracket, dot, and we want to sum up the total sales. So this is what, another reason why we changed that total sales column to numeric, so we could add up those total sales. Now what we're going to do is we want to print this out. So we're going to do print, open parentheses, and we want to print this name here, which is going to grab this here. Print sales underscore by underscore region. And we will run this. And here we go. So we have our region. We have central, 
total sales east, north, south, west, all of our total sales by region. Of course, it gives us the data type sales integer. So that's just a really quick, simple analysis. If you want to see your total sales by region. Also, next we're going to do our visuals. So here we're going to do sales underscore by underscore region. And yes, we are pulling this here because we already did the analysis here. So we're going to pull that sum, but now we want to plot it. So plot, open parentheses, kind is basically a bar chart, comma, and we want to title this equals, let's title it total sales by region. And we want the color to equal sky blue. And we will run this. And here we go. Here's our output. So we have our total sales by region, which is our title. We have our bar chart and it's sky blue. And we have it broken down by region. There's central, east, north, south, and west. It looks like west had the highest sales, but if we scroll up here, that is right because west has a higher number of sales. So you just learned how to load, clean, and analyze real data like a pro. So if you want to go deeper, watch more data cleaning tutorials, I have linked them in the description below. Please like this video, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next video.